Well, hello again, Neighbourhood Prayer Network family. It's great to be back with you, although I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit discombobulated because putting this out on a Wednesday, when normally we put videos out on a Friday, is a little bit discombobulating. But it's great that we're able to put this out today because I'm joined by my friend, Rachel jordan Wolf, who is the Executive Director of Hope Together. And Hope Together are doing some amazing stuff around the Platinum Jubilee. This week, I've been talking on UCB about the fact that one in 20 adults in the UK doesn't know the name of their neighbour. And also the fact that 52% of people find it really difficult and feel it really awkward when it comes to sharing with a neighbour. And yet, as I said to UCB, and I'm sure Rachel would believe this to be true, Actually, the, the Platinum Jubilee is a great opportunity for us to practically overcome some of that awkwardness. 23% Rachel of people in the UK in a recent survey said that they call their neighbours mate simply because they don't know their name. Isn't that sad? Yeah, that is. That is. And I thought in lockdown we'd have got a lot better with our neighbours. So, yeah, still a way to go. It is, but 23% of people saying, I don't even ask the name, so I just call them mate. That's great. But, I don't so, think I'm going to try that, but yeah, hey. Yeah. But it's great, to, Rachel, to have you with us. But for the, just before we go into what you're doing for the Platinum Jubilee, because we are absolutely delighted as Neighbourhood Pro Network, as we always are to partner with uh, Hope Together. Just for those that haven't come across Hope Together, what's Hope Together all about? Well, Adam, we are um, a catalyst. We help local churches and Christians in mission and evangelism. And we are about everyone everywhere knowing Jesus. And we've got lots of resources. We love to do this in partnership with others. So everything we do, we do in partnership. So we do that nationally because we want to model what might happen locally, because we really think it matters when churches do this together, when Christians do this together. And so we love to work with other people to actually get the good news of Jesus out. And we're there to resource and help local churches and Christians. And Hope Together do certainly produce some amazing resources to help you all throughout the year. This conversation is going to focus on the Platinum Jubilee. Sometimes, Rachel, Christian organisations go a little bit in competition. Which is the best resource? And we confuse people. But actually what uh, Hope Together have done in terms of providing a toolkit for churches is absolutely amazing. And so when you drop me an email saying, can we share this with the Neighbourhood Pro Network family? I was like, yes, I'm all in. Because, you know, sometimes we don't need to reinvent the wheel. There's some great resources. And I know that through all the things that you can find on the website, theplatinumjubilee.com, theplatinumjubilee.com, you will be able to find some great stuff out there that Hope are are suggesting you might want to uh, consider using when uh, thinking about what you might do for this Jubilee weekend. And boy, Rachel, does the, does the nation need a party? We do need a party. So we need a party and it's a great opportunity to get to know the neighbours and um, be out there doing street parties, celebrating and doing events. And whether you're just going to have a couple of people round into the back garden or whether you're hosting a massive street party, any of those things, it's all brilliant or services on Sunday. The big thing that we're trying to help is that we can witness to the Queen's faith. We've produced our resources on theplatinumjubilee.com with other partners, the Church of England, the Methodist Church, Biblica and others. And um, we're trying to help you to have the opportunity of putting something into someone's hand that will make them think about the Queen's faith aspect of how has she done this for 70 years. And so this beautiful book, here it is, and it's got like 64 pages full of photos. So it looks like a really great souvenir gift, um, but it's based on a little book of um, prayers and devotions that were given to the Queen to prepare for her coronation. So she prayed these prayers every day. She'd read these Bible readings. And Catherine Butcher, amazing writer, found that little book in Lambeth Palace Library, took out the prayers, took out the readings and showed how they've been answered over the 70 years, both through the good times and the bad times for the Queen's life and how God has been faithful to her. And so this helps people realise there's a faith element to our Queen's 70 years of service. So it looks and that's beautiful. Certainly worth, and that's certainly worth a party. We've got to celebrate the fact. What do they say? Uh, um, as we were saying in uh, one of our prayer meetings this week, but also I know there's been lots of other Christian leaders that have said the same thing. 
the queen is the greatest evangelist of the gospel. She is. She's an amazing evangelist. And so um, that's why this is so exciting. And she said so many wonderful things about her faith slowly over the years. So that's worth a party. And this little book, we're just selling them. Can you believe it, Adam? One pound for one all pound. of that. One pound if you buy 50 or more of these to give to your friends. You're looking shocked. I do sound like a salesman, but it is just a pound. Because so, we have we're doing it at absolutely sort of great price because we really want people to find out about the God who's really backed the Queen. We but also I love, got, but I love I, I love I love the fact though that, that that is something that you could give away and you could keep. I remember yes. Rachel back back in 2012 when we did the when we did the Jubilee and the fact that we got to a point where people were literally asking me for copies of the servant, the servant queen and the king yes. she serves. Yes. And the number of non-Christians that would say things to me like, Adam, I could give that without feeling cringeworthy to a friend simply because they love the queen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, so and, really and you, easy giveaway. And as it's, you flash that in front of me, I think that's just an amazing resource that people can get hold of on the platinum jubilee.com and if you get 50 is it you say yeah 50 just a pound i mean they're, they're still cheap if they're under that but at 50 at 50 copies they're just a pound and you can give that to friends neighbors people that you meet in the park if you go dog walking lots of different people you could give it to and we've had we've had brilliant feedback already from the book and again from people who are not a face who thought it was a beautiful book so grateful that they've been given it by friends where they they found it has you know they've read it they thought it was really interesting and so it's a, it's an easy win and um, there's also something for toddlers we've got a whole set of material with the happy land characters i'm afraid those books have sold out but oh, there's an animation I, on there's an I animation love, online I, I, I adam love, i love I I, I I i somebody somebody gave me one to look at and i suddenly thought they are amazing but the animation Super cute. Is still online. the animation is there there's a little song so you can share the animation at your party and it's um with muick the corgi and it's really cute so that's all there it's all on the platinumjubilee.com this book that book and then we have an anthem to sing that um, is, you can find that also if you go to sing on the website that was recorded at the Tower of London with Commonwealth choirs and it's absolutely beautiful written by Graham Kendrick Malpope and Rend Collective and so that's up there we've also got that and it's amazing people have um, done that with sign language so it's truly accessible so you can find all of these things on the platinumjubilee.com but don't forget it's an opportunity to, to witness to the Queen's face and I am really looking forward to giving this book out myself. I, I love all of that stuff. I love the song. We've been sharing it in our prayer meetings over the course of the last couple of weeks. For those that come and join either on a Wednesday or a Monday night for the last couple of weeks, we've been sharing the song Rise Up and Sing. Yes. And I love the fact that Graham Kendrick, Malpope and Wren Collective can come together to provide such a very catchy song. I've caught myself, Rachel, a couple of times. Off the, when I've been coming off the back of those prayer meetings, just going out to the kitchen or something and just going, rise up and serve. It's yes. very well done, Adam. Oh, nice, Adam. Next time we know we'll be calling you to come and sing on the song. That was a brilliant little rendition. I, 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 I love it, but it's the kind of thing that if you're doing worship on the Sunday, which is Pentecost Sunday as well, yes. if, you're, if you're thinking about a song we might want to introduce into our Sunday worship, you know, we love the fact that Neighbourhood Prayer Network is full of people who go, and I, I, I know it because I see the feedback, those that go and tell the pastor that, or the church leader that there's yes. something that they need to be aware of that they may miss. You know, Rachel and I work in the business of communication, and we'd love to believe that every single message that we send to church leaders gets to them, but we know it doesn't. Yeah. So, you know, if you're thinking, I'd love to share that song, in my Sunday worship on Pentecost Sunday morning or Pentecost Sunday evening, then use it. That video is there. It's available in lots of different ways. We love that song here at, uh, at Neighbourhood Prayer Network. That's saddened, brilliant, Adam. Saddened to hear that we can't yet get hold of the, the Happy Land books, but knowing that you can still go and get the animation and show that if you're working with children or young people or families. Yeah, brilliant for families. Absolutely great, absolutely great. Um, animation too and you know Rachel you've just mentioned kind of three resources there the book 
the the happy land and uh, the song but there are many many other things uh, that uh, members of neighborhood prayer network family can go and find out on the platinum jubilee uh, website partnering with lots of different christian organizations great resource hub but i, I do want to commend to you the book um as i say as, as rachel flashed it in front of me i suddenly thought you know what rachel i need you to get you to send me a copy because i want to share that with my neighbors too because it's right. great and it celebrates the queen's faith and actually you know were you saying before we we clicked record rachel that there's been hundreds of thousands of copies of this yeah we've um, three hundred thousand copies so far have gone out so thank you church and if you're watching and you're one of those people thank you for joining us and um making this a really worthwhile project we know that each of those copies we've just got to pray because god's spirit can speak to people as they read um, and the queen as you say can be one of the greatest evangelists for us yet again in this nation so let's um, pray you are the neighborhood prayer network we would love you to join us in praying that all the books go out and that um, people are really touched as they open them and they read prayers that the queen prayed and that some of those prayers resonate with them for themselves and that people think you know what well, i could pray that prayer that's a prayer i want to pray this is a piece from the bible that i would i would like to apply to my life so Beautifully done, gently, just how the Queen also always speaks gently of her faith and yet really clear. So let's pray that each of those books goes into somebody's hands and they read it and actually it brings life. So, Rachel, that's inspired me. I hope it's inspired those within the NPN family to both pray for all of the books that have gone out. Uh, from from hope together into different streets into different communities into different settings to pray that god would enable those books to get into the hands of those people who need to hear that message you know people do look at the queen and go i love her faith and so let's celebrate the queen's faith through this great uh, resource that Kath has, has put together and the team at Hope Together. So pray for them to go out. And and Rachel, time is ticking for people to get hold of copies of this. Time is really ticking. So obviously you can order after the event because uh, we've got people ordering for summer festivals. We've got people still ordering for school assemblies, things like that. So, but if you want them for the actual street party or service that you are hosting, we need your order by Friday midnight to guarantee delivery for the actual weekend. You can order after. We, we still think loads of people will take, take it. It's still a great giveaway this year. But for the Platinum Jubilee event, we really need you to order by midnight on Friday and then we can guarantee your delivery for the Jubilee weekend. And just to remind you, you need the the on the website. So it's the PlatinumJubilee.com. Uh, when you're searching in Google, you need to put all of that in um, if you're going to find it, because there's now so much Platinum Jubilee stuff out there. If you just put in Platinum Jubilee, you will be inundated. So you need the the, you need to add it on and, and put in the dot com or you won't find it. And that's why this Wednesday I wanted to share this with you and not wait till Friday because the number of people that go, I watch the content that we put out on a Friday, but I haven't got a chance to act upon it. So that's why today we're putting this content out. Right. Encourage you to go and to check out the Platinum Jubilee dot com and all of the stuff that rachel and i have been chatting about in our short time together is available it will bless you it will bless those who receive it we just want to make sure that you neighborhood prayer network family don't get to that point where it gets to the day after the the, the platinum jubilee weekend celebrations and you go oh i knew i something i could have given away if i'd only but heard about it so please and if you know of other people if you know of other people, again, it's not just church leaders sometimes that go, if only you'd have told me. So tell your friends, tell you, tell the people in your network, tell the people who you know to go on to theplatinumjubilee.com and get their book. Wave it for me one last time, Rachel. So there it is. Say, it's looking beautiful. All those lovely pictures. And there's a flick through so you can have a little look at it as well. Just fantastic. It's a really great, really great resource. Really great read. Get that. Check out the song. Check out the the check out the animations uh, for for children and families. They are definitely well worth. Becky, my wife, is engaged in children's youth and family ministry, and it was her that showed it to me. And she said, "Adam, I love it." 
So if, if it gets Becky's seal of approval, then I definitely think it's worth uh, checking out and having a look at whether it works for your context uh, in, in your community. But Rachel Jordan, well, thank you so much for taking this time just to spend it with with me chatting to our NBN family about what you're up to for the Platinum Jubilee. I pray God's blessing upon all of the endeavours of hope and all that's been thought to be done as we rise up and serve and we thank God for her majesty. The, the, the website address one last time, theplatinumjubilee.com, a neighbourhood prayer network family. Until we chat again and until I'm able to chat to you again, thank you very much indeed and God bless you in all that you do. Thanks, Rachel. Bye. God bless.